growing up in LA, you know, I loved White Man Can't Jump. Yep. And the premise of that movie is all the runs around the city. And we yeah. all know about Rucker Park and New York. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the basketball scene in LA in like the best basketball areas? Where are those going down at? There is none. There is none? <laughs> Only at UCLA in the summer with the pros. What about in the 80s and 90s? Uh, and then you have leagues. So LA is different than New York. We don't play outside. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. Which we but, can all, all year round. Yeah, and so imagine a bunch of guys gathering at a park like New York in L.A. with gang culture. <laughs> you do? Yeah, All right, yeah, so yeah. that's why we don't play. That's why we don't play outside. Yeah. Uh, that's why we don't play outside. But basketball is lifestyle in L.A. Hell yeah. So it's different because even if you don't hoop, you dress like a hooper or you go to hoop games. So – we play organized. You got the real run. You got the Drew League. You got the uh, Say No Classic. You got AU. So everybody kind of play indoors. Yeah. And so the best basketball is really like what team you can put together on the AAU side. What's the best team you can put together yeah. in the Drew or the real run? Like people, the mistake is people think like, you know, since white man can't jump, it's like, oh, yeah, the runs are at Venice Beach. It's like. Well. No, that's just a certain type yeah. of people, you know, yeah. type of people. But like, real hoopers don't play outside yeah, yeah, in LA. Yeah. Like we 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 don't play street ball. When you were a kid too. And when you're a kid, you play outside on the on the court. But it's always indoor. You always trying to get on the team at the Y. Yeah. Like we got the most parks, gyms. You know, um, we got a ton of gyms and parks, and so it was always like park leagues. Uh, it didn't happen, really. L.A. is still not a street basketball culture, but I, because of that, I always wanted to play street basketball. When I got to the league, I was the first person from L.A. to go play in the Rucker. Yeah. Yo. I think I remember that. You, 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 you did I some shit. I showed up by myself. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, How was man. that? Oh, dude, that was like. The people know, they all. It's uh, like a play, it's like, it's like a playoff game intensity, but, it, but in the streets. Hell yeah. So it's like. Man, you can make, like, I can make, you can, like, yo, I can make a name for myself. And then it was also some something, like, anybody could make a name if you had games. So it didn't matter what leagues you play in, how, what high level. All these were, like, real hoopers. Guys who could have made it, didn't make it. Guys who should make it and fell on hard times. But, like, the, um, the rucker was, like, go claim your, like, you want to claim a name? Go show us what, what you can do in the Mecca basketball. And you went as a pro. I went my second year in the pros. Now, that had to, you, the intensity goes up even higher because you're in the league. Yeah. It's just like anytime we go to a gym or, or something, everyone's sizing you up. Oh, yeah. They go boo your ass in, in Rucker Park. <laughs> Until you get them. No, they'll boo your ass in the heartbeat. Uh, you come down the court, right? So, as soon as you get in the game, they're like, oh, they go crazy, right? Because it's like a pro coming to the hood. Yeah, like, yeah. this is a real hood. As soon as you get the ball, bro, as soon as you take a dribble, they go, oh. All the way till you coming down the court, they go, oh. And if you pass it, they be like, oh, man, get him <laughs> off the court. You know, like, so, like, you coming down, you hear the whole crowd like, oh, you got to do something. If you pass that ball, oh, they going to talk about your ass to the next time you get it. Don't let it be a consistent thing where you out there like trying to play basketball, <laughs> pick and cut and pat. No, you, we want to see something from you, buddy. We yeah. all we came they, to see like, you. They did not come to see me, no, dog. They were there <laughs> anyway. But now that now you showed up, you. oh, bro, it's got to go down. Yeah. You better show us something, or we gonna call you sorry and every kind of name and get your ass up out of here. You see that movie Hustle with Adam Sandler? I saw it, yeah. Because isn't that what that guy was? He was like a hustler. It's the, the Spanish dude. That was a good ass movie. Yeah, I don't I can't remember. We need a good new We need a new basketball movie. We need a new basketball movie. like a, a like street a real, basketball yeah. movie. Yeah, we need it. We need they probably gotta go AAU because there's no street basketball. Yeah, there. we definitely need a basketball movie. No but, offense to Blake, but that white man can't jump remake was Oh man, I, I hate they made white man can't jump. <laughs> <up. laughs> it was I all mean, right. Jack Harlow yeah, out there. I wanted to like it. 
No, it wasn't a bad it wasn't movie. Bad. I just don't like Billy Hoy and Wesley like, Snipes man, different. Bro, do not remake classics. Amen. Or amen. That movie could have been called Ball Till We Fall, and it would have been it would have been better for the movie than calling it White Man Can't Jump. Too. Amen. That's all I'm saying. It was a good movie. I, you know, I thought Jack Harlow did his thing. Yeah, I thought I the other dude did his thing. You know, but just call it something else. 